here comes another video on nism series 21b portfolio manager certification examination in which i am going to take three questions uh, which are numericals uh, you will get similar type of questions in the exam or you should at least expect to get similar types of question in the exam and that's the reason i have prepared this video to give you insight about you know how to solve these questions uh, so let me proceed ahead and let me just put a request to all of you that please subscribe to my channel uh, that will really encourage me to put uh, similar such videos going forward you will see on the right hand side corner of the video a subscription button if you click on that you will be able to subscribe and receive free content uh, from me uh, periodically especially if you are interested in preparing for some of the key exams having said that let me move on to the first question the question here has is mentioned on the top as you can see here in this particular question uh, there is a portfolio uh, you know management which is being done okay and an investor has approached portfolio manager so what is uh, the situation here the situation here has is very distinctly mentioned so an investor approaches a pms service provider with a five year plan of investment and uh, the investor is going to put money periodically so she starts with 50 lakhs at the beginning of the first year later at the beginning of each of the year which is from second to five year she invests 45 lakhs 35 lakhs 60 lakhs and 50 lakhs so these are the investments as you can see we have listed down the investments parallelly here uh, what our investor is investing at the beginning of each of the year uh, the fund created by the manager generates the return which is 15 percent 12 percent followed by two negative returns minus 10 minus 8 and then 25 percent for five years respectively after all the charges what is the money weighted rate of return or mw ror to the investor ignoring the taxes okay after all the charges have also been considered so how do we solve this uh, we take uh, each year's investment and apply the return on that so as you can see here very clearly the first year investment of 50 lakhs okay it is uh, for for this particular investment all the five years return has been considered and that's why we are taking 1.15 so 15 percent with the base of one uh, becomes 1.15 and then 12 percent becomes 1.12 and minus eight percent has been considered as 0.92 and minus 10 percent is 0 0.90 so if you multiply this this um, this is the amount that you will get and you should actually get this amount right now for the second investments which is 45 lakhs we have to only consider four year returns okay we, do, we cannot consider all five year returns because second investment is starting at the beginning of the second year so as you can see here 15 percent return which was considered with the first investment is not considered with the second one okay so if you multiply 45 lakh with subsequent four years return you will get this much value uh, the third year 35,000 will again be reinvested only for three years it will not be reinvested for a period uh, longer than three years okay so that's why you can see here it is uh, it has two negative uh, returns factored in 0 0.90 and 0 0.92 and one positive return so the total value becomes this much now uh, again if you look at the second last year's investment of 60 lakh it is only being re uh, it's 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 only getting two years of return and that is what has been factored in again over here and the final investment of 50 lakhs is uh, anyway for only for one year so if you add all your you know uh, in uh, returns after considering how they have performed for f five years four years three years two years and one year you will get this as the total value which we have listed here which is uh, basically a uh, two crore 86 lakh 54 thousand three hundred now what do you do as the next part you use the function irr uh, which is available in Excel. So you write in Excel sheet minus 50,000, which is your first year investment. It is a cash outflow, so we are writing it as minus 50,000, followed by minus 45,000, minus 35,000, minus 60,000, minus uh, 50,000, and then you uh, write the entire uh, accumulated value, which is 2 crore 86 lakhs 54,300. Do not forget to use the function IRR, which is what will give you the solution to this problem. So write equal to IRR in Excel, 
okay and then input all these values in the irr formula so if you write equal to irr uh, you will be able to you know solve this particular problem uh, by selecting all the values so equal to irr and then open the bracket okay once you open the bracket input all the values and then close the bracket and press enter you will get the answer the answer will come as 6.09 so this is the right answer here please try it out in excel and if you still have any issue i have shared an email id on which you can write to me let me move to the second question i hope you could get the first one easily the second one uh, is the similar question but this time what is happening is that in in place of uh, finding out what is the money weighted rate of return we are finding out time weighted rate of return so money weighted rate of return and time weighted rate of return have a difference in terms of uh, the concept in case of time weighted rate of return we take the return for each of the period and factor in its impact on the return right so here when we calculate the time weighted rate of return since returns are the same 15% 12% minus 10 minus 8 and minus 25% what we do is that we find it out like this 1 plus 15 percent okay multiplied by 1 plus 12 percent multiplied by 1 minus 10 percent multiplied by 1 minus 8 percent further multiplied by 1 plus 25 percent now these are the five year returns okay and these returns have been given over here so we have taken the data straight away from here uh, now uh, after having done this and this is the formula to calculate time weighted rate of return we raise the five year value to 1 upon 5 okay why 1 upon 5 because it's a 5 year data that we have had it been 4 years data we would have written 1 upon 4 minus 1 so if you do this you will get a solution which will come as 5.92 okay after you have done this do not forget to multiply the solution you have to multiply whatever solution you get uh, with a value of 100 okay because you have to convert it into percentage so do not forget to multiply the solution with 100 you will get then only you will get the exact answer so we are done with the second question now let me move to the third one what is this question this is uh, similarly you know <clears throat> uh, that the way we did first two this is all about finding out what is the you know uh, excess return that the fund manager has generated and which ratio we should use so it says that a portfolio generates 25 percent return during a particular year with a volatility of 18 percent which means while the portfolio is generating high return there's a volatility also in the same year the benchmark index which could be like you know in indian case like a sensex or a nifty or any other benchmark index has generated 22 percent return with a volatility of 15 percent in in case the risk-free rate of return during the same time is eight percent okay in how many uh, by how many basis point did the portfolio beat the benchmark that is what we have to find out first and then how do you measure the risk adjusted performance uh, between the two and how much is it so we have to find two th two things what is the basis point by which you know uh, the portfolio has outperformed the index that can be done easily so i have written it like in simple language calculate excess return generated by portfolio which is 25 minus 8 percent so basically any return that you generate over and above risk free return is your excess return so we have 25 minus 8 which is 17 percent excess return generated by benchmark is 22 uh, minus 8 which is 14 percent so you know compared to benchmark uh, the portfolio has generated three three percent excess return which is 300 basis points so you know we know that one uh, percent is equal to 100 basis point so three percent should be equal to 300 basis points now find the sharp ratio of the portfolio which is 25 minus 8 upon 18 basically uh, you know the market return of the fund minus risk free return upon uh, the sigma which is uh, the standard deviation in this case so we will get the answer as 0.944 and sharp ratio of the benchmark is 22 minus 8 percent upon 15 the same formula we are using which is the return of the benchmark minus risk free return upon volatility so we'll get this as 0.933 okay the difference between 0.944 and 0.933 would be 0.01 so the answer obviously would be this now uh, why didn't we use trainers ratio okay why did we go with sharp ratio because trainers ratio the option also is similar here only thing which has changed is uh, trainer in place of sharp so uh, the, you know remember to calculate uh, to calculate trainers ratio we need beta 
which is not mentioned in this question. So why didn't we go with Turner's ratio? Because there is no uh, mention of beta here. There is only mention of standard deviation and that's why we have gone with the sharp ratio. Okay. Now I've solved all these three questions. I hope this makes sense for you. We will be able to understand how to approach similar kind of questions when you get an exam. Let me now thank you all for uh, you know watching this video. I hope this has helped you and in case this has helped you, please do subscribe to my channel and also like this video and put your comment. Thank you so much.